Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about an awkward situation that's been happening to me a lot recently. This story is funny, awkward, and a little bit sad, but I really wanted to make a video about it because I think that some of you can relate to this or maybe give me some advice because I honestly don't know what to do in these sorts of situations. So as some of you may know if you've been watching my videos for a while, especially the ones that include other members of my family, you'll probably know that I'm mixed race. I personally don't identify as multicultural. I don't even really feel like I grew up with a specific culture and I just think of myself as being an American. But that being said, people are often really confused about my race, culture, and ethnicity. So most of you probably know this if you follow me on social media, but I usually take the bus to work. I take one bus from my house to San Jose Civic Center, and then I transfer to another bus to get to work. And pretty much every day while I'm waiting for the bus, someone will come up to me and ask me for directions. And I know the VTA bus system pretty well, so I can usually point them in the right direction. And people asking me for directions is perfectly fine. It's normally not very awkward, except for when people ask me for directions in other languages. Because people are confused about my race and ethnicity, they don't always assume that I speak English just by looking at me. I've been asked for directions in Spanish, French, Mandarin, and probably other languages that I don't really know very much about. So a couple of days ago I was waiting for the bus when this old lady who was probably in her 70s or 80s came up to me and asked me for directions in what I think was Spanish. I only made it up to level 2 in Spanish and I wasn't very good at it. And since I don't speak any languages other than English, I didn't know where she was asking for directions to. So I just told her in English that I didn't know where she was asking for directions to. And then she kept talking to me in Spanish and I honestly felt so bad because I think she might have been from out of the area and she seemed really confused and lost and she was all alone in the Civic Center area. After she realized that I didn't speak Spanish, she crossed the street and I watched her get directions from somebody else who hopefully pointed her in the right direction. So hopefully everything worked out with her. And this is just one example of a time that this has happened to me. This literally happens to me a couple of times a week. So if you do speak a language other than English and know how to say I only speak English in the language that you know, that would be very much appreciated because I really want to try to help people out and make sure that they don't get completely lost. So that's everything that I wanted to say. I just wanted to sit down and share the story with all of you. So if you have any similar experiences, comment those down below or make your own video. And I would love to hear about your experiences. And before I go, I just want to let you all know that I have my college orientation on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm actually not 14 years old. I'm turning 19 in a little over a month and I'll be going to college in the fall. So if I'm not very active on social media during those days, it won't be because I'm ignoring you guys. It'll be because I'm busy with my orientation. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Goodbye.